what would the outcome be for you if speed was used as a strategy to grow your income? By the end of this episode, you will know how and why speed leads over perfection, how and why speed reigns over size, how and why failing fast and learning faster is a growth strategy, and how and why a time-based strategy can boost your income. For handy personal finance tips and useful information, hit the bell to be notified for our latest episodes. I'm Dwayne, the finance strategist who is built on economic base from a grassroots level. My aim is to share my knowledge for you guys to prosper and build wealth. Speed over perfection. Why? Because perfection today may not be perfection tomorrow. With speed comes activity and the more activity you have, the more you will learn and the faster you will better perfect it. Speed is a strategy. It's a competitive edge. For example, Amazon taps into speed as a strategy with their Amazon Prime membership, which guarantees a two-day delivery on all Amazon Prime products. Uber Eats is another example of speed as a strategy. It will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to have your food delivered to your door from the pickup destination. Society has been exposed to instant gratification. We live in a fast-paced world, so if you can solve that impatience with a fast alternative, at a faster rate than your competition, then you become the number one go-to person within your field and you'll be financially rewarded for your speed. If you can be more responsive than the industry average, then you can gain the advantage. Speed reigns over size. The faster you can implement an idea, the more likely it is to be a success. If you can get an idea in motion, then momentum will kick in. If your competition happens to be a bigger company or has more money than you or has more influence than you, then speed is your secret weapon. Because as a smaller company or a person of influence, you're more agile. You can switch things up faster than your competition. Because they've got more things to consider before implementing an idea, you as the smaller entity or company can make an impact first. Think of it along the lines of how Uber made an impact on public transportation or how Airbnb changed the hotel industry or how Netflix became our home cinema. That was down to speed reigning over size. Look towards a group or someone within your space that has more of an influence than you and start thinking how you can use your speed to your advantage and how your speed can have more of an impact than their influence. Would you choose a product or service based on the speed you could receive it? Put your answers in the comments below. Fail fast, learn faster. The best learning comes from failure because emotions are involved. If you can get past the emotional side, then the message can hit home hard. It's what a book can't teach you. It's what a person can't teach you. It's what's known as first-hand knowledge. Embrace the failure as a means to a successful end. Because when you fail at something, it gives you the opportunity to strengthen your purpose, in turn, making you more agile. Growth is made by stretching your capabilities. And when you stretch your capabilities, there's a high likelihood that you will fail to some degree which is good because the objective is to fail fast and learn faster towards your goal the value in repeated failure is identifying a failure and the lessons learned to improve it for the next time failure will sharpen your attention to detail failure will lead you to mastering your craft how to use a time-based strategy and why the idea is to always to look for ways to compress the time it will take for you to complete a task or a service you're providing by way of speed by way of time compression you can meet your customers needs faster than the industry average and by having a documented system in place which will identify areas which require streamlining we can increase our productivity and efficiency. 
if you think about it, a lot of times we do things in a way that we know. However, that's not always the most efficient way. If we can utilize technologies and outsourcing services, we'll increase our output in a shorter period of time, which will give us a competitive advantage. Now that you know how and why speed can be used as a strategy to increase your income, why not check out my Investment 101 series, my Budgeting 101 series, and my Credit Card 101 series. If you enjoyed this episode and found this helpful, click the like button, comment, and subscribe.